This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Naito. This is a dream for a lot of mixed martial arts fans. And yourself, Daniel, a guy who at one point could have fought Fedor Emelianenko, he and Dana White on the same page. We got Fedor in the octagon. Team. I'm glad it didn't happen because uh -huh. let me tell you something about Fedor. He's unknown. He's an enigma. We all want to know what is Fedor Emelianenko? What does he look like in the UFC? We finally get to find out. We know that he has a crazy high-level skill set, but we never knew how it would fare against the absolute best in the world. Tonight we find out, if I had to guess, I would think he would be just okay. And you got the sense with Fedor that he wasn't gonna wholly enjoy retirement if he did not check this box. Fedor Emelianenko at long last on the greatest proven ground in the sport. Inside the octagon, he is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Up DC. A lot of people believe these two heavyweights are as evenly matched up as any two in the division. And I'm not sure if Emilianenko is going to be able to get his takedowns with relative ease here tonight. So maybe it'll be the power, the discipline from Fedor on the feet that gets the job done tonight. Either way, just a special treat to have these two heavyweights engaging in front of our eyeballs here tonight. Call for more attack. Yep. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. Submission defense wins this transition. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice job defensively. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, some separation. with the jab on the counter. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No, no, no process at all. The moment this fight started, 
these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Striker. He waits for his opponent to engage and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Nice. Nicely done. That's the power there. So pretty good recovery by the opponent. Oh. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Huge block there. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Hands high, hands high. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right now they separate. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Pedro Emelianenko's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Takedown defense holds up. Now some separation from his first position. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Block that shot there. That one connected. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this matchup. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Fatal. Oh, nice takedown defense. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Under a minute now to go on the round. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood is coming from the cut. Final seconds here. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Emelianenko's looking for a Darce choke here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. There, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. And he counters with a left hand. Throwing that jab, no good. Right, 
So another nice strike by him there, and continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it shows. This is a very evenly matched fight. Things change the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent as well. Hey John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Less than one. Plus, hands up, chin down. Oh, his right eye keeps taking damage. Looking pretty swollen now. Pedro Emilianenko gets the single leg takedown. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Oh, hammer fist here by Emilianenko. Big ground and pound. Oh man, hammer fist again by Emilianenko. Making all these shots count. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the most. He heard it. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Avon! Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop a volatile division for a long time.